I want to install a script on my website that I can use for a message board. Now I did a little bit of hunting online and I came across this site, uh, PHP Junkyard, and they have a simple uh, discussion board script on there. And this is a sample of it. And in fact, I've already done a little test. I posted a topic, then I posted a reply to that topic in here. Now, at first glance, it's, it's not very fancy. Uh, not very fancy looking, and it's certainly not very fancy. However, I see a lot of opportunity for customization because it is such a blank slate with some CSS, you could really customize this quite easily, I think, into the look of your own website. So I'm going to check it out and see how easy it is to install. So I've already downloaded uh, the files. So you get, a, you get a download folder and it'll download and you uncompress that. And these are the files that they've given me. There's a couple of PHP files and text files. Of course, there's a readme file that'll contain the directions. I've got that readme file open right here. So this is the readme file opened up so I can kind of follow along and see what I need to do. A couple subfolders in there as well. So I'm going to go back to the readme file and I kind of scroll through a little bit. And installation step one. Open the file, open the file settings.php in your favorite text editor. Um, okay, so I have got that taken care of. Here's my settings.php file, and I've already gone through and done some of the settings changes they've recommended. So, for instance, I've put in my own password that will be the administrator password. I've put in the correct URLs and things like that for where they recommend. So, in the settings.php file, I've put in a, a name for my board, uh, or I'm sorry, an administrator password the title of my website, the URL for the website. Notice I've created a, a board subfolder within my domain. I have yet to do that in real, for real. So while I'm thinking about it, let me jump over to FileZilla. I'm already logged into my server, and I will create a new directory called board. So now I have a board folder within my host, so I can test this script out. So now that that's on there, there's a board title and default URLs and stuff like that. There's a lot of other settings in here that I'm just going to keep at the default. Um, you could certainly go through a little bit more slowly through the directions to see what affects what and that kind of thing. So let me go ahead and save the settings to my PHP file. Those are all saved. And then it says go to your FTP client. Uh, and basically you're going to publish all of this stuff. Now I've created a, bo a board folder. And so I will go ahead and jump over to my FileZilla, select all of the folders and files provided, and publish those to my server, my server's board folder within my own hosting folder. Okay, that looks like that's been taken care of. Upload all message board files to this folder. Okay, the, the images folder must be transferred in binary mode. Other files in okay, so I think we're okay there. I'm pretty sure my default, my uh, FileZilla, my FTP program changes from ASCII to binary as necessary, so that should have worked out pretty well. Within the message board uh, directory or folder, create another folder called MSG for messages. Okay, so I need to create an MSG folder within my message board folder, and I need to give it permissions 777. I'll do that here in FileZilla, create a directory, msg, and right click file attributes, I'll give that 777 permissions. Okay, that looks like it's been done. Make sure that the PHP scripts have permissions to write to the files. Uh, threads.txt and counts.txt. Ah, so instead of using a MySQL script, looks like this one just stores the data in text files and things like that. So basically the two text files, threads and counts, they need uh, permissions to have 666. Do that in FileZilla. There's count, file attributes, 666. Generally, when you upload files, they're going to take on the parent permissions of the folder that contains them. So, uh, let's see, count, and what else do they need? Uh, threads. Oh, it's counts with an S and threads with an S. Let me do a sort by name. Count. Could have just been a typo in the directions, I suppose. There's threads. I'll give that 666 settings. All right. 
Um, if you've done all this, your message board should work now. Fantastic. Well, I see as part of the files I've uploaded, there's an index.htm, the root file. So from my web browser, I should just be able to go to ralph.cc-webdev.com slash board. Okay. Let's see now. I'll put in a test post here. Ralph, test post one. Add new topic. Gives me a security code to type in. That was in the settings PHP file. You can turn this on or off. I think it's kind of neat, so I'll keep it on. All right, message successfully added. Click here to continue. Fantastic. There's my test post. Um, I'll click on that. Let's post a reply. Seven one six seven four. Okay, and now I've got a reply. Gee, that wasn't terribly tough, uh, uh, you know, at all. It's pretty easy to get set up. And I see that's all in my mboard.php file. I'm kind of curious what that looks like. So here are my files. There's my mboard. I'm going to open that up in Notepad++ too. I'm just kind of scroll down here. I'm looking for that HTML that we can format. So I see new topic, recent topics. See this HTML here? This is stuff that we can potentially change here. Settings, inboard URL. Okay, so there we can put a style sheet in. Kind of curious, did they give us? Yep, there is a default style sheet in there. Let's see how that looks. Yep, so there's some that we could control. We could add more styles if necessary. So, not too bad. Well, it doesn't really take that long, but now we've got a uh, working message board that looks like it's pretty easily customizable into one of your existing web page designs.